Listen, man, uh, I know I've been preaching on this channel about how you should start a vending machine business, but it's it's one little thing that can like deter you from, from starting a vending machine business. I'm gonna talk about it right here, man. YouTube's got the idea, man. It's money only power. Pappy! And we are back with another video, man. Oh, uh, let's talk about a vending machine business. The vending machine business is right now the ultimate side hustle. And it's easy for you to scale up and scale down. I am a a witness. I done did both. I done went from one location to to several with Gary, and then I easily sold my personal location. You know what I'm saying? So this is the ultimate side hustle. Yes, you could do it long term, but you really got to be committed. You know what I'm saying? Because even though it's it's passive in a way. It's 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 ninety percent hands on and like ten percent passive. Cause you gotta go stock it up. You gotta go buy your product. You gotta drive around and find locations. So, is it really passive? Like hundred percent? No, you know. And uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just I know these days, these times, people want you know a side hustle that they ain't really gotta do a lot with. And vending machine is. Is it's not it's not for you if you're just looking for something quick and easy to 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 do. I don't want to say half ass, but you don't want to be like hands on with it. This ain't the the industry for you. But another thing that I really re recently found out is I filed my well I tried to file my taxes. Well I did file them, but I didn't get nothing back. And you're not going to get anything back within your first couple of years of having a vending machine business. Let me tell you why. Because if you come in a, in a, in a situation with just one location, yeah, you might be making money. Yeah, you might have all these write-offs. But once you report how much you made off that uh, the vending machine, you got to realize that's, that's just pure revenue. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting taxed for that. So you might report it, but... That's all you're doing is, is reporting it. You know, let's just say you made 20k off that machine. Just because you got all these write-offs, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. That's that's what I thought. I thought I was finna just get back six seven k. I ain't gonna lie to you, but that's just not how it went. Uh, I went in there with all my receipts, all my my write-offs, and this and that, and everything was going good. But what had happened? I told them how much I made, and it's it zeroed it out. You know, so it, so it it, it 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 canceled out in a way. Basically, all you're doing is just telling them, telling the government that you made this much, you made this much, and you just upload your your uh your uh your tax write-offs, and that's just that's just it. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, if you are single, meaning not married, and you don't have no kids. You're not getting nothing, bro. Like, you're legit not getting nothing. Now, I will share uh, this with y'all. If if you're doing vending machines as a side hustle and you have like a nine to five, you're golden. You're going to, you're going to get something back because you have a job that's taking taxes out your check instead of uh, just solely re solely relying on the vending machine income to have a tax return. You know, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, regardless of how much money you make from your, your vending machines, it's not likely you get anything back unless you have like big write-offs, like you bought a vehicle in the, the business line, you got employees, you got, I wanna say between 10 and 20 locations, bro. That's a lot of money being spent on product and gas and mileage and machine tools and all that. But other than that, you're not getting nothing. You know, you're just simply just reporting that you made this and that and you're uploading your tax write-offs and it, it, it's basically showing proof of your your money being being spent. You know what I'm saying? You, you just justify it in a way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the IRS is not, is not being friendly with the funds this year. Uh, Mainly because of them, of them, them, uh, them stimulus checks. You know what I'm saying? If you got them stimulus checks, yeah, they, 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 they coming back and not giving y'all nothing in tax returns. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was doing my taxes and she was asking me, she was like, yo, you ain't got nobody 
to carry, like nobody's kids. And I was sitting there thinking, I was just like, no, I don't, you know? So didn't get nothing back. Uh, me personally, I filed with h &R Block because I've been filing with them since 2015, since I was in the military and they never done me wrong. I never had any, any situations. And they always had like this peace of mind clause with them. So something was to come back, h and Block would take care of it for free. And I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta worry about take care of it. But yeah, bro, I basically, I counted up all those receipts for nothing. <laughs> Uh, I wrote everything down. I had to think about everything from from YouTube to to Turo to the vending machines and all them write-offs. It just it just canceled it out. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it zeroed it out, and that hurt my heart because I was planning to use that money to uh, focus on my on my new business adventure that I'm doing. I was gonna buy maybe another slab for the cut for the uh, for the channel. I, I had some plan with that money and to not get anything back, it was like damn bro. And you know, with that or with this, you can go like a couple of years without filing. You know what I'm saying? But just don't 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 get in the habit of skipping because this time is flying. You might look up, you be like, All right, I ain't gonna file this year. And you look up, it's 20, 2030, and you ain't filed your taxes in by goddamn seven years. Now the IRS gonna be like, hey man, what you what you been doing the last seven years? I know you ain't just been out here homeless, you know what I'm saying? So uh, don't get in the habit of skipping too many years of not doing your, your taxes. Just just report and do what you gotta do, man. But I would say, I would say don't don't make it, treat, treat vending machines as a side hustle unless you got like uh, 10 locations, 20 machines, something like that because between one to four machines, that's considered uh, a side hustle. You know, five to ten, that's considered part time. And ten or more, that means vending machines pay your bills a hundred percent. You know what I mean? So uh, that's why I tell y'all, like, y'all don't need that LLC off the rip. Learn the business, learn the machines. See if you really want to do this full time because carrying them totes every day. That ain't easy, bro. Yeah, you get tired. Some days you you having you having eight to twelve hour days because you got so many locations. But once you get, you know, once you scale up to a big a, a big amount of location machines, you can hire people. You know what I'm saying? And that could be a tax write off and this and that. So, yeah, bro. Uh, that's what I did yesterday, and I ain't getting nothing back from my taxes, which is which is expected. What should be expected from y'all going forward. And uh, yeah, bro. Uh, to give y'all like an update of what I've been doing since I saw the location, the dude actually hit me back like a couple weeks later, and he had to sell it because you know life happens. And when he like initially approached me, I thought he was trying to like get the money back from me. I was like, nah, nah, brother, that money gone. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, when I actually read that message, he was like, man, something came up. I got a you know, get rid of it. You know, I don't want to, but I just have to. Life life happens, and I get that. And I was gonna do a whole video about it and everything, but, you know, as I was recording that video, uh, his brother bought it for him. So, it's, it's still technically, technically in the family. He's still running it. You know, he calls me every once in a while if he had questions. And, you know, I'm glad I'm just doing, you know, good business, you know. Uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I, uh, and I got a text message that threw me off. I'm glad I did right by him. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I stuck I stuck by him whenever he needed help because a lot of people they'll get the money and just dip and let and let them people just be assed out. And you know, just happy that I, I I'm doing good by him. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to do that that video for for him, but he he figured out. And now uh I took that money, I I, I paid off some debt. Uh of course I treated myself. Uh, and then too, I started a second YouTube channel. It is, it is a faceless YouTube channel, meaning everything that that's on the channel is is outsourced. I don't, you don't, you're not gonna see my face, you're not gonna hear my voice. It's it's strictly automated. You know what I'm saying? So I pay for that, and then that's gonna be what takes me about the hood, man. So 
Uh, everybody been wondering what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on this second channel. But, you know, I can't forget about this channel. And that's why to come up here and record this video. My, my, one, I'm recording because I got a fade. You know what I'm saying? You, you feel me? You feel me? But, you know, I just have to make sure that, you know, I still take care of y'all, you know, and give y'all updates about the, the vending machine stuff. And this probably is the last update because I'm, I'm really done with it uh, when it comes to the machines with Gary. I don't know what's happened with that. I don't even talk to him no more, which is crazy. Well, I talked to him, but when we were dealing with each other, we was talking like every day. And now, since I have to depart the vending machine business, I had to, well, we don't talk no more. So he's supposed to be doing my website for my, for my wine. I ain't heard back from him, but you know it is what it is. Uh, oh, and speaking of the wine, I've been doing I've been doing a YouTube channel, the second one, and my wine, which has been doing 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 great. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna lie to you; it's been doing great. Uh, me freeing up the time has allowed me to really market my wine the way I, I supposed to. And you know, I sent it to a a content creator on TikTok recently. You know, it it, it, it did I. Right. Uh, I could have got those views my, myself, you know, but it is what it is. With, with TikTok, if it don't go, if it don't like explode within that that, that first day, then it ain't gonna go viral, you know. And that's what happened with her, uh, with her, with her post. It didn't really do too good, and, and I got some followers and, and some and some inquiries, but I thought that was gonna take off. But it's at the end of the road. I'm still doing good. Bottles are still selling, so if you want a bottle, drop it down in the comment section or uh, hit me on Instagram. It's been going crazy. I, I ship as well. Website in the way. I ain't gonna scam y'all. I, I can't. My face is all over YouTube, so we have to like scamming y'all. So don't be don't be weary of me not sending your sending me your bottles. You know I, I'm not desperate for twenty twenty five dollars. Okay. I know some of these other content creators might be getting down. But that's not your boy, you know. Y'all look out for me, so I I, I definitely want to do right by y'all and, and continue to do good business. But other than that, that's my life update. That's the filing taxes with the vending machines. <laughs> I'm heard about that, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. But that's gonna be a wrap. Got any questions? Drop them down in the comment section. Email me, and uh, yeah, email me. All right. So that's a wrap. Appreciate all love and support. Like, comment, subscribe. We've been growing at a rapid rate. 8K on the way, 10K on the way, 100K on the way, 1 million on the way. We just one video away, bro. One video away for, uh, from us just, just just being lit and having our way. All right? But that's a wrap. I'll catch you on this video, bro. Yeah.